Hey everybody, Robert Hunt, rtop10.com and here we are today at the Royal Academy in London at the Summer Exhibition. Summer Exhibition is quite a big thing in London in that um, it's an open submission exhibition so absolutely anybody can apply to have their work looked at by a group of Royal, Academy, Royal Academicians who will then potentially select their work this year. I think they had 16,500 entries. That was done digitally, then it was whittled down to 4,000. I think those 4,000 were seen in real life. Um, and so I'm curious to see just how many pieces are put in from that open submission because the Royal Academicians themselves are allowed to put about six works in the exhibition, six each. So let's just see roughly how many you actually get in here from the open submission. Uh, I, su I submitted, it got rejected, or I've been in it before. Um, and I paid £70 to submit two pictures. Um, so by my rough calculations, the Royal Academy makes over a million pounds with this uh, exhibition just on the entry fees alone. And then you've obviously got people paying to come and have a look. Anyway, let's have a little wander around and see what we can find. So this is the first room. And this would seem to be a mix of Royal Academicians and people you've got in through the open submissions. Focus on a couple of things here in this first room. You've got um, uh, Christopher Lebron, big painting. Well, actually, that must be like oil pastel is what it looks like, actually, um, by him. So, you know, he's a Royal Academician, so he's allowed to put his stuff in. He's got a massive spot there. So, obviously, it's quite interesting, actually, as you go around, you notice that the Royal Academicians have big paintings a lot of the time. I think you get far less big paintings by um, unknown people through the open submission. Uh, one thing about this is you've got to look in the book to work out who made them. That is a big sort of weavy string piece. Um, who's the weavy string piece by? Sheila Hicks. So she's not a Royal Academician, as far as we know. Um, this is a little book you have to look in to find out who... Um, has done all the pictures, which you have to buy when you come here. Um, so that's quite a big piece by a non-Royal Academician, because normally it's just the Royal Academicians have the big spots. Um, we wander over here, you've got a big green bit. Um, down here you've got a few other pieces. I mean, I don't know. I guess these are primarily from the open submissions. It's hard to tell without reading up every single thing in the book. That's Varanasi. Oh, that's Anthony Aiton RA. So yeah, that's an RA. That one by, and that is 97. What is it? 27,000 pounds. 27,500. Actually, how much was the Christopher Lebrun? That one there, the 67. Let's go back. I forgot you got the prices in the book as well, which makes it more fun. Well, no, that one hasn't got a price. That's been more entertaining to see if that was. Got a price, Make Art Not War, which number three is by, um, it's by quite a well-known artist, number three. I'm uh, pretty sure. Yeah, Bob and Roberta Smith. It's actually just one guy. 18,000 pounds, that is. Yeah, and he's an RA, so he got that there. Anyway. The thing about the Royal Academy, you can see already, you've just got a massive mixture of all kinds of different things jumbled up. Some by the RAs, by the Royal Academicians, and some not. So, strolling around into the second room, you've got some quite nice, uh, I like these Michael Craig Martin things, nice, big, simple colours. Um, that one doesn't have a price, but these are, these are 4,400, are they? And they're editions of 30? Of 60. Oh, these are edition of 60, 4,400 edition of 60, check it out. How much could you make off these? Gotta say, I do like these though. Nice, simple colours, the trainers, and they're really funky. It's quite interesting actually how he reduces quite a lot of the information, so it really is quite refined what you get to see. Um, let's give you a bit of a glimpse around. Oh, this wall, I guess they've tried to give this wall a kind of black and white vibe to it. Over here you've got a big, um, Who's the big colourful thing in the centre by? 84, is that? 84. Joe Tilson RA, so as ever, the RAs have got the big, the RAs have got the big bits. Um, well, it's not bad, I don't mind that. It's not a stunner. This kind of chair is kind of cool, with all the kind of smashed 
glass inside it. That's kind of funky, quite like that. Um, everybody's taking photos of it, obviously. And you've got some hands over here and a glass box for some reason. Oh, they like little tattoos on them. Tattooed hands. <laughs> kind of weird. And you've got some strange paintings over there. Let's have a look at number number 80. Who's number 80 by? Teresa Zafara Byrne. All right. Zafara Zafara Byrne. Teresa Zerata burn this one on the, over there, that circular one. Quite like the circular one. That doesn't seem to be by an RA. Oh, this is, this is the Anthony Gormley. Eaton educated Anthony Gormley. 79. That is personal possession. Oh no, 79. I've lost it. Quarter. Here we go. 56,250 pounds. Edition of five. <laughs> Nice, so you can do well with that. I don't quite know why it's 56250 What a weird price. Um, oh, who are those people by? Up here. 91 and 92. Humphrey Ocean. Oh, Humphrey Ocean RA, yeah. Actually, when I was in the Royal Academy Exhibition, he was the one who chose my picture. Um, how much though? 90. No, it was 90. No, we can't see how much they are. That one is 22, Oh, these are all, all four of them by him? Yes. Oh, that's quite interesting. I didn't realise they're all by him. Intriguing. So those two are 22,000 each. Those two are not for sale. Oh, so the bottom two are 22,000 each. Check it out. Portrait's not for sale. Portrait's not for sale. Check it out. Look at this. 20,000. Intriguing, isn't it? It's actually quite funny. There's some people wandering around in the next room. Oh, are they? what must be like a FaceTime call with a tape measure reading out here the pictures are by and telling the people what sizes they are kind of weird to see sales going on at the press view but anyway um, here's some this is like the black and white things anyway let's roam on into the next room now and uh, see what happens in here so you have a bit more like architecture pieces in here so this is uh, one of the rooms that's got a lot more like architectural pieces in it you can see all like these little buildings and little trees which i suppose is one of the quite interesting things about that summer exhibition you've got quite a variety of a variety of stuff that i can't quite work out some of it seems to be architecture some of it seems to be sculpture so i'm assuming that is a piece of sculpture as opposed to something architectural um but yeah, I, I guess it gives a... I'm, I'm never actually that fascinated by the architecture pieces. I guess you are if you're into architecture. But um, I guess it certainly gives another vibe to the experience of coming to visit here. And of course, you've got some big sculptural pieces. You've got a weird tree over there. Um, a weird tree which seems to have wood attached to it. can't tell if it's actually cut or not. It's been put into the tree from what I can see. Um, got a giant box over here stuck out to the ground some weird fashion and you've got a big selection of bricks put on top of them oh yeah so each room is selected by a RA so this one is selected by Peter Barber right let's keep on strolling into the next room all right so this is a small western room this is selected by David Renfrey MBE RA summer exhibition coordinator this year oh I think there might be some things in here I'm not going to be filming um, but yeah, so just in case I've got to block out that bit of film. Um, again, David Renfrey, MBERA, has chosen this room. And it's quite weird actually, because this room is normally given over to smaller paintings by people who've submitted for the exhibition. But this year, obviously, it's just been given over to a video piece, a sculptural piece, and another kind of video piece in the corner. Which obviously, once again, okay. It's quite dramatic to have very little in the room, but again, if you've been applying, hoping to get in, this room's normally a good place for you to get your little small pictures in. So you're missing out, I don't know, about three or four hundred pieces of art that could be in here. But, um, which is the strange thing is we're trying to work out roughly how many people have actually gotten to this exhibition. Um, but yeah, that room is normally given over to smaller pictures um, 
So let's go into the main, main big room here, and we'll see just how many of those things roughly are by Royal Academy missions and how many aren't. Okay, so here we are in like the big mega room. Um, just give you a quick glimpse around it. It's a cool room, obviously, here at the Royal Academy. Um, but you just wonder how many things. Oh, here we go. So you got some Tracy Emmons. Got the Tracy Emmons over there. If you got any prices for them, not for sale. Um, Oh, that one's got a price, 55. I think this oh, Indian ink on lithograph, that's 55,000. Which one's that left or right? 284. Yeah, so these two are 55,000 each. Seems to be ink on lithograph. And that one's also 55,000. Come around here, I think that 293, I think, must be by Basil Beatty, is it? 293, yeah, yeah. How much is that? 24,000. 24,000. He taught loads of these people like Tracy Emin. Um, is he an RA? Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, he would be. Yeah, yeah. Um, Frank Bowling, obviously, taking up a big chunk of the wall here. I wonder who 297 is by. Who's 297 by? Rebecca Holton. Rebecca Holton. I oh, see. Here, so we go. So that's something that's not an RA. So there are a few little things in here that aren't by Royal Academicians, but I reckon the majority of the big stuff is three. Who's 307 by it? Uh, Tony Bevan. Tony Bevan. Yeah. He's an RA, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So that one up there is by an RA. What about 308? That one is Bob Walker RA Electric. Oh. Not for sale. Okay, so it's another RA. So as you can see, all the major sections of the room are taken up by Royal Academicians. Oh, wait, we looked at. It. I've got my wife here helping me today, checking through the brochure to work out who is who. Um, oh yeah. Oh, David Renfrey, 309. 175,000. Yeah. So he's one of the major people who was coordinating and. Um, Working who should be in it this time. Actually, I don't dislike that painting. I don't like that blue cross down here. I find that slightly irritating. What is the point of that blue cross? It kind of distracts from what else is going on, I'd say. But I like the land chandelier lights in the top half of it. Because it's like a room, but a bit cubisty broken up. Oh, yeah, who's that big one, boy? Oh, yeah. Omicron Variations. 185, so this one up here, this sort of black and white work on paper, 185,000, and what was the name? Cara. 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 Walker. Cara Walker. Honorary RA. Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what an honorary RA is, but anyway, yeah, anyway, so it's an RA again. What about the little birds down here? 311. This is Stephen Chambers' RA. Oh, here's another RA, yeah. Stephen Chambers. Well, 19,200 each, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Uh, oil on panel. <laughs> Intriguing, so you're still Mostly RAs, I'd say. This one isn't an RA, is it? Three. Oh, it's another little Frank Bowling. That's quite interesting. Three one three. Actually, you'd probably prefer that to the big one. I really don't get that big one. It's just like a big splodge of colour. Twenty-five thousand. Check it out for that little miniature thing. But I do prefer that as a painting. I think it's kind of a bit more focused. This one is not an RA. But not for sale. But it's not for sale. <laughs> Intriguing. Intriguing. And then I think if you come down here, most of these are probably RAs. That cloud is by an RA, isn't it? 316. Clear books. How much is that one? 51,300. Man alive. 51,300 for those clouds. Man. And these are um, 317 and 318. Are they Eileen Cooper, are they? 12,500. Yeah, 12,500. 18,000. Actually, quite reasonably priced. What about so? Who's three one nine? Who's that by? Anthony Aitonare. Oh, Anthony Aitonare. Okay, actually quite like forty thousand five hundred. Actually, quite like that painting. Kind of old style, classic sort of stuff, but not bad. Twenties him as well. Three twenty as well. Nineteen thousand. Oh, and three two one. They must all be, mustn't they? Yeah. Was well, that nineteen thousand? Yeah. <laughs> Intriguing. 19,500, check it out. And 321's 18,500. Hmm, I don't dis I like the one at the bottom best, I think it's a better painting. Whoa. Right, I'm strolling on down here just to give you a quick glimpse of what's going on throughout the rest of this room. Oh, I sometimes quite like those abstracts, like um, that one down here by. Is that Marley Morris? 
three, I can't quite see all the numbers. Um, 366. Six. Six. Marley Morris. Yeah, Marley Morris. 15,000. 15,000, man, that's quite a reasonably priced. I rather like these. I like the way that you've got the squares, but you can see the brush marks moving around the square in different directions. Wow, the light, it's just got so much brighter as the sun came out, because you can actually see actually through the ceiling. So you've actually got real light, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, I particularly like the way like you can see the sort of curve on that bit of the circle there, and then you can see the strokes going down, and so you've got really nice kind of painterly qualities to that. Who are these ones by? 353. Terry Setch 353 RA. Is he another RA? 9,500. 9,500. So you have got a lot of RAs in yeah, this room that's basically. Yeah, RAs or Mick Rooney. Mick Rooney. 11,500. 11,500. So you've got a lot of RA stuff in here. So how many things do you think? I saw him as well. Oh, is this one as well? There's three Mick Rooney's. Three Mick Rooney's, yeah. 354 to 356. Uh, three, five, four, three, five, five, three, five, six. Oh, yeah, they have got some in front of them. I don't know, they're all here, aren't they? And these ones, three, fifty, three, four, nine, three, four, eight. Yeah, it's got six. It's got six, yeah. So I, I think a Royal Academy is allowed six. I think they're allowed up to six of their works in the show. So, I mean, this room, I said, is pretty much predominantly Royal Academicians. So, so far you've got a few in the first room, a few in the second room. It's difficult to actually literally add it up unless I literally go through the book later, maybe I will. But you haven't got a vast amount of them, especially not in here. I've got a vast amount, you haven't got a vast amount of the people who um, have submitted in this room, basically. Look at these crazy little faces. Quite fun, aren't they? I don't know. It's a weird exhibition, but it's always fun to go around and see what you can find. I quite like these little landscapes up here, 336, sort of quiet. Is he RA or not? No. Alright, not an RA, check it out. 15,600. 15,600? Yeah. Man, that's quite expensive. They must be known in some way, otherwise they'd just be too pricey. Unless you're just hoping to get away with some big sale. Because um, obviously people do like to buy stuff from the Royal Academy. Right, let's keep on strolling because there's still quite a few more rooms to go to. Right, there's another one by Michael Craig Markson. I don't really like that as much as the other ones. It's a bit weird. Um, I suppose the green's quite striking, but it doesn't blow my mind. Look, here we go. Take your photos and share your RA Summer Discoveries. Browse and buy works from the UCS Exhibition Online. Um, got some Paula Regos there. Who's the 402 one by? Philip Allen. No. Oh, Philip Allen. But is he RA? Oh, well, he's quite well known anyway. So that's a, I mean, that's a big one by somebody who is not an RA, but is, you know, he's certainly not an unknown artist. Um, he's not been picked out of from nowhere. That big 409, who's that by? Mr. Jackson RA. Yeah, that's by an RA, isn't it? 15,000. 15,000? 15, 15, yeah. Man, some of those things are so much more expensive than that. I don't actually particularly like it. It's a bit boring. Um, you've got quite heavy, thick lines around the edges of it, but I don't find the colours that striking. And they're sort of a uh, shuffled background where you can sort of, it's like, it's on top of very heavy, but the background's a bit muffled in, and the combination of those two things, I'm not sure it works perfectly. Although the top bit's growing on me now, so that's kind of slightly 3D. Um, on down here. It's difficult to know what grabs you in these rooms, but sometimes the things grab you. So this is Bill Jacqueline RA has selected this room. You've got a weird sculpture with a head and some fingers. Um, don't know really. Um, on down here you got some birds. I suppose there's a sort of theme in this room, but it's not mesmerising me. You've got a black and white section again. Those are like clock faces, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are. They're like little clock hands. Is, is that, who's, who's that boy? 
So you can see that's like little clocks. Hands of clock. clock movements, the machine stops. The machine stops. RA or not? RA? No, you see, not an RA. 1200, reasonably priced. Undoubtedly got in because it looks quite fun with the clock handles, so it's entertainment. I'm actually moving the clock handles some of them, which is kind of cool. It's quite fun. But it's entertaining. What about the dead bird, 432? Who's that by? The late Tony Sherman. Oh, right. RA or not? No. Oh, but if he's the late somebody, he must be somebody known. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put that in here. So, <laughs> intriguing, this room. What about 435 and 436? Uh, Humphrey Ocean. Oh, Humphrey Ocean again, okay. 15,000 each. 15,000 each. What about the big flowers, 437? Claire Woods, RA. Claire Woods, RA. Edition of 35. Edition of 35, man, how much is that? 6,600. 6,600. Where's the screen print? I don't know, look. It's all the same, it's got two points. Oh, 437. Oh, I think it is a screen print. But edition of 35, it's... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I think the one you can see in front of you is 8,900, 8, potentially because it includes the frame. But then otherwise, they are, would be priced at 6,600. So you got about 1,000 for the frame, I think. 2,000? 2,000. Well, 2,000 for the frame. That is not, not surprising, I think. Frames are so unbelievably expensive. Um, who's done this sort of crazy little... I like this sort of frenetic sketchy. Are they an RA or not? Yeah, no. Okay, so they're not an RA. So that's the other thing. Not only do you have, I mean, you've got the open submission for 16,500 people entering, um, but then within these rooms, the non RAs are actually often. Uh, people who are not RAs are actually often invited to be in the exhibition. So, I mean, that's another wedge of um, uh, people who are not going to get to exhibit who have entered to try and get in. Right, anyway, let's keep on moving into this next room. It's got a nice view as you wander down here. Yeah, you just have a quick look at these crazy vases. <laughs> I haven't seen the mice. And you've got little mice on these. I haven't noticed the mice. The mice are quite cool. Snails? What's that one got? Yeah, it's snails. This one's got little snails all over it. And pomegranate? Yeah. Warbush. And hands. <laughs> cool. Um, not for sale. Not for sale. Okay, so we're in a room now selected by Catherine Jones, RA. And there's a dog over there I can't film. Which looks like a... Um, I, who does it look like would have made the dog? I keep forgetting. Jeff Keynes. It looks like it would be a Jeff Keynes dog, but it, it's by somebody else. Um, you've got quite a lot more smaller things in here. I'm guessing a lot of these are by people who are not Royal Academicians. Let's have a look at 499. Is that one? Just as a random sample. Malcolm Reigns. Malcolm Reigns. Yeah, for sale. Yeah. How much is that one? Not for sale. No, not for sale, okay. Uh, what about 498? It's 415. Um, Ali oh, yeah, so wait a second. So this room is essentially the room of prints, isn't it? So pretty much everything in here is a print. So these things actually sell very well, often. So you see masses of little red dots lining up them um, as the exhibition goes on, because everybody wants to come and get a print. Uh, so what's about, uh, where should we choose one? What's that unlucky strike 493? Who's that by? Eskimarsh. Eskimarsh. 900. There you go, you see. In addition to 10. So you, oh, so there's 600, the unframed versions. Yeah, so you, so you can turn up here and you can spend about 900 pounds and get to go home with your print. Um, yeah, so the print thing, so this bit, you've got a lot of people who aren't actually Royal Academicians in here. And this is your, probably your, actually looking at it, probably your best bet to actually get in this exhibition, is to have a little print. I have this weird theory that otherwise they choose kind of more amateur looking pictures on purpose. Maybe they want to make sure the Royal Academicians look better. So they choose 
the stuff that's a little bit dodgy otherwise. That's like a Victor Passmore sort of um, style picture. Who's the big one by? Five, nine, six. Who's, who's, who's five, nine, six? Who's that by? Jake Garfield. RA? No. Amazingly enough, not an RA. Look at that. Edition of 6,8,500. Edition of 6,8,500. Or 11,200. Or 11,200 if you get it with the frame. You'd almost have to have it framed because you've got one, two, three, four, five, nine pieces. I haven't got much choice but to frame that up, I'd say. Um, right, anyway, so this was the sort of print room. Oh, these are quite fun. I quite like these. Who are these crazy things by? Oh, sorry, let's have a look at this. 661. Which is quite interesting to see if that's an addition. Frequency. Frequency. Sam Shindy, 13,000. 13,000. <laughs> quite fun. Quite fun. You've got a sort of smoke coming out of a chimney at the top, which is quite entertaining. Right, let's keep on rolling. Anyway, so this is probably, if you are going to apply to the Royal Academy, you're probably better off trying to apply with a print. So that's probably your best bet of getting in. Let's keep on moving. So this room has been selected by Claire Woods, and that is a sort of Moorish architecture picture. But who is it by? Uh, mm, ben Johnson. 48,000. Check it out. Not an RA, apparently, so that makes it a bit more intriguing. Got a fun little sort of. Um, <laughs> how much is that box? You got a sort of fish crate on the floor. How much? I can't work out the number of it. I desperately want to see how much the polystyrene box is, but I just can't find its number, which is a shame. Oh, there it is. Eight five nine. Back into our little book. Nineteen thousand. <laughs> Oh, Gavin Turk. So Gavin Turk, undoubtedly RA, yeah? No. Oh, he's not an RA, but he's mega famous anyway. Veg box. Oh, painted bronze. Is it actually bronze? So it should be bronze, that thing. Actually cool, because it does just look like a rubbish box. But the plastic bits, is that bronze as well, or are they taped on afterwards? Anyway, either way, what do you think of the box? I mean, you've got, you've basically got to have a big fancy house and have people come around and show off your weird stuff to them, haven't you? You've got to have a lot of money and a lot of entertainment value out of that. But I have to say, I prefer the cat. Look at the cat. The cat looks kind of mangy. Hello, mangy cat. How much is the cat? What oh, let me see, sorry. Let's try and find the cat number. Here it is, 862 for the cat. Oh, 66,000. 66,000? Ryan Gander, RA. Remember oh, the particularly complicated title. Rest in pieces, all the squatters. Charlie, meet Hammond's United Night Train. But yeah. Hammond's Untitled Night Train. Sorry, Charlie Meet Hammond's Untitled Night Train. 1989, how much is it? 66,000. <laughs> Mad title. Anyway, I find it disturbing when you look at these things on the wall and they've grouped them together as colours. Because, um, I haven't they got a better way of um, doing the hang, frankly? Can't they put things together so they interact and communicate with each other because um, I think if they just do it based on colour it's a bit boring um, oh so 728 who's 728 by or is that Gary Hume or it looks like a Gary Hume yeah it is Gary Hume, how much is that one? 65,000. Yeah, 65,000. So obviously Gary Hume, one of the mega famous YBA, young British artist kind of people, went off to live in California. Kind of seems to... He finds painting quite traumatic. I'm not really sure if he's very good at it. But he was super famous at the time. Um, and let's just have a look at this one over here. Who's... 
Who's 792? Who's that by? I mean, I guess quite a lot of these are non Royal Academicians. Katie Shepherd. Oh, Katie Shepherd. 1,250, yes, yeah, so that's like a non non RA. So I think you have got actually quite a few non RAs stashed in here. Yeah, little things like frying eggs, marbles. For frying eggs? Yeah. Well, look at that, 150 for frying eggs. Probably the cheapest thing so far. You could grab that, head home, quite satisfied with your frying eggs. 786 paintbrushes, uh, little jugs. Fanta and chips. Oh, the paintbrushes, yeah? Yeah. What, 420? 420. So it's quite achievable as well. It's actually, actually, although I suppose there's some consistency to what they've chosen here, and these are all kind of still lives, which is quite nice. It's better than some of the other things. I'm actually quite enjoying looking at the different still lives. So this is Edmund Duval. Is he a RA? No. Oh, he's not RA, but he's mega famous again. Has exhibited at the Gagosian and all the rest of it. Um, and those are his famous um, sort of white cups. Actually, it's not too bad. I quite like the white cup and the silver sort of pewtery. Oh, I can't tell what it is, but the silver stuff. You've got nice different colours in there. Quite clever. He is a sort of clever artist, isn't he? I don't know, I've quite enjoyed this room, quite enjoyed that still life section, it's my highlight of the whole thing so far. Um, at least it had a bit more, because you've got such a mush of stuff, you've got to somehow kind of drive some consistency into it. Yeah, so we're now in room 567, selected by Eileen Cooper. Um, I know that guy up there, the skull, that's actually a drawing. Uh, Russell Heron. Um, so you've got loads of things in here, and I have a feeling, because he's not an RA, I have a feeling you've got lots of stuff in here that is not actually by RAs, which is kind of nice, although it does mean you've just got a huge jumble of stuff, and all of it is framed, which I find quite intriguing. Every single thing is framed. Is there anything in here that's not framed? That's not what? Framed. Each thing is framed, isn't it? Mm which is intriguing, so if you were going to, if you applied for anything without a frame, you ain't going to get in, baby. It's quite intriguing. All the stuff I put in was unframed. You've got a mixture of photographs, little drawings. Uh, I can't quite tell if they're prints, but you've got a huge mishmash of stuff in here. Almost too much. quite like this weird little sort of horse. Those colours. That is probably by Eileen Cooper herself, I think, the person who selected it. That's quite funky, the weird sort of person standing on there. I quite like that car with the zigzag lines. Quite like that kind of drawing of a caravan. Um, it's, it's lookable. It's, it's actually, you can spend quite a lot of time uh, mulling around in here. Um, it's kind of fun. Actually quite a fun room. Yeah, I suppose you've got to spend uh, like lots of dogs. I should just put a picture of a dog. A picture of Jeffrey I should have uh, submitted in a frame. <coughs> I'm really beginning to wonder if frames are key to getting in. Anyway, you've got to spend your time looking, but I think there's quite interesting things in here if you do dig, dig, dig around. And I guess this is a perfect spot if you want to come and buy something. So how much, how much is one of these dog pictures? What about 890 Stanley? It's another print as well. So put things in a frame, and make sure they're additioned. 290 or 200 pounds. Uh, sorry, addition of 100 at 240. Oh, so 240 pounds. I bet loads of those will sell. Because that's quite an easy thing to wander home with. I suppose at the same time, it's in the Royal Academy's interest to have prints selling. Because if they sell a hundred of those things at 200, what's a hundred of those at 240? 24,000? I think it is 24,000. The Royal Academy will, of course, get a cut of those sales. So I guess it benefits them to uh, have lots of prints. Right, this is the last room. The last room, there's some giant. Paul Arrigo thing in the back, we're not allowed to film. But um, quite interesting this room, you've got Ken Howard here. How much are those Ken Howards? Like 1183. K 
Ken Howard, you know, he's a classic for always painting things pretty much exactly like this. Uh, one more nights. Oh, one one. Here we go. Oh, that's weird. One one eight three. Not for sale. None of these are for sale. <laughs> but I think they are fantastically expensive, really. And then over here, you've got three paintings by Fred Cooming, who died this year, I think. I've always rather liked Fred Cooming. I think they're beautiful paintings. I interviewed him years ago. Um, he really inspired me to go to art school. I think he's a brilliant painter, actually, but uh, not heavily rated because, you know, he's not contemporary. Look at the beautiful pinks you've got. Beautiful pinks and yellows in that sort of gorgeous sort of um, landscape. And look at that sort of almost drifting into abstracty sort of sunset, maybe. And this one is a weird one that I've seen before. A weird one with a really weird wall. Look at that weird wall. Anyway, I really like them. I think they're very cool. Right, we've only got a couple of minutes, so we're going to have to just bomb it through the rest of the exhibition. Um, oh, right, they're not for sale. Yeah, so 2022. Oh, he died last year, actually. Fred came in. Right, should we just... We're just going to bomb it through. Bomb it through the rest of here, just so you get a glimpse of what the rest of it looks like. As it's time's up. And this one's a bit of a... Oh, is this one selected by Mad Colour Frenzy? Oh, Eileen Cooper again. Oh, these ones are unframed. A lot of them, not all of them. <laughs> There's a bit more colour in this one. There's loads and loads of things you could look at. Actually quite enjoying this room. It feels bright and fresh and entertaining. I like this t-shirt. That's quite funny. Painting of a t-shirt. But why am I choosing stuff that's funny as opposed to stuff that makes me see the world in a more magnificent light? Probably because there's so much here. You just focus on something silly. Oh, this is more like a mad sculpture place. Got loads of stuff here. Oh, there's a sort of inflatable beetle up there on the wall, which is quite entertaining. Um, charred remains of somebody, a queen, some trees. Oh, it's a kind of disturbing sort of animatronic things here. Look at this profoundly disturbing sort of thing here. Hey. Nasty. <laughs> what is that? Weird pink bear. Sheep. One of those um, things here. Uh, right, and then you've got a big purple sort of material sculpture thing here. Another material sculpture. Right, and that's it. We're done. That has hopefully given you a vibe of the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. How many things are actually by non-Royal Academy missions? I think I'm going to quickly, after this, whiz through the book, roughly add it up, and we'll get an idea of how many people, though, do forget that some of the non-Royal Academy missions will have been invited. So we need to knock a few of that off anyway. Anyway. Okay, so like I said, I went back through the book, added up all the non-Royal Academy missions. Um, altogether, there are 1,613 pieces in the show, and the non-Royal Academicians have 1,242 pieces in there. Interestingly enough, the Royal Academicians only have 371. So there's a lot larger non-Royal Academicians than uh, Royal Academicians. Although the Royal Academicians obviously have much, much larger pieces in general, or are the only ones with really large pieces. Pretty much always. Um, there's very few large pieces by non-Royal <clears throat> Academicians, I would say. Right, so anyway, so if there were 16,500 entries this year and 1,242 non-Royal Academician pieces got in, that roughly means you have got a 7.5% chance of being exhibited just on those figures. Um, obviously, there's all sorts of other crazy variables in that. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> it's actually a lot higher chance than I thought you had, in all honesty. Um, so £70 pounds for entering two pieces, that's your sort of... Um, that's your chances, basically. 7.5%. Um, what I think you need to bear in mind is, out of the 1,242 uh, non-Royal Academicians, a number of those are invited people. So they were asked to exhibit by the people preparing those rooms. So... 
um, that means your chances are still smaller because it's, it's really maybe only 1,050 who actually got in off, off the sort of open submission. So it's probably not really 7.5%, it's probably less than 7.5%. Also, what I found particularly interesting is I suddenly realised I recognised masses of the names of people who were the non-Royal Academicians. So these are not people who've just randomly sent in a piece of art in the hope it might be picked because of what it looked like. These are people who are reasonably well known in the art world. Um, so yeah, they're not just getting in and out of the blue off what their thing looks like. So again, if you are just gonna randomly send something in, in the hope you might get exhibited, um, and you don't mess around in the art scene, you don't mess around in the art world, um, your chances will be less than 7.5%, quite significantly maybe. Um, so if you are just, you know, fancy having a go and sending it in, bear that in mind. What I would also say is, I would have said most of the stuff that is in there by non-Royal Academ non Academicians is small. It is also prints and it is also framed. So in reality, if you want to get in, I would submit a print in a frame with a good editions of at least 50 editions, because I think that does make it more attractive to the Royal Academy. They can sell them all off and they get, I mean, like that dog, what was it, 200 um, or 100 editions of the dog at 240 pounds each, that's 24,000 pounds if it all sells. The Royal Academy, I can't remember how much they get, say it's a third or something like that, oh, 6,000, something like that. Um, uh, yeah, so they will make money off that. Um, whereas they're not going to make so much off a single painting that sells for £800 or something. Um, so yeah, anyway, next year I'm very tempted to put in some prints framed, as I think that is by far the best chance of getting in and keep it small. Um, other interesting thing, it was so 4,000 of those 16,500 entries, 4,000 get through to be seen in real life. Out of that, Obviously, it's still the 1,242. So basically, if you get through to that 4,000, you've got about a one in three chance, third chance of being exhibited. So relatively high if you've got through that first stage. Anyway, there you go. That's the uh, the figures I said I'd add up. Royal Academy, so much a, a weird thing, but always entertaining to come and see. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely come and see it. And yeah, here's a chance to buy something, maybe. Anyway. As ever, uh, please like and subscribe uh, for more um, interviews with artists and reviews of art exhibitions and also my other channel, Travel Dog, for fun films about food and travel. Um, anyway, Adarif is a Bye-bye.